Yo, so it is vlog number 11 in the dieting phase. I think it's 11 anyway, um, I'm sure it is. And it is the penultimate vlog on the dieting series. So um, from next week, or well not next week, but I transition back into a gaining phase over the coming month or so, which obviously is the big one because I'm trying to bring my physique up. But the um, today on the vlog, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through where the dieting phase went from start to finish in terms of weight, calories, everything in between. I'll throw up a lot of photos as well so you can see and I'll just give you a rough breakdown of how it's been from start to finish. So starting off, my starting weight, I was actually 94 kilos but a month into lockdown that I dropped a couple of kilos just because training, I wasn't using as much load, my appetite was lower and just wasn't doing as much. So I'd actually dropped them to 90 kilos when I started. Now that's obviously a little bit of glycogen, a little bit of X, Y, and Z. I actually probably looked fluffier at 90 than I did at 94. So I started at 90 kilos. Photos coming up on the screen just now. So I'll give you front and back shot. I won't throw up too many because it'll get confusing. So 90 kilos. The end weight or the weight this week was 81.1. So basically, nine kilos down or yeah nine kilos down and i will throw up how i'm looking now now i'll put them side to side as i'm speaking you can see visually the changes so you can see the difference in body composition but if you also think about it nine kilos so just off 10 is a fair amount of weight to lose considering my start position don't get me wrong i was a little bit fluffy but i wasn't holding loads of body fat and you've got to take that into consideration when dieting i think a lot of the time people underestimate how much they have to shift and how much they have to lose and um, the other thing i want to touch on just quickly is i feel good in both those photos bodybuilding should be giving you a you should be confident in your physique regardless so when i'm in a gaining phase yes i am a fair bit heavier i still feel good when i'm in a dieting phase I might not feel that good because I'm pretty fucked, but I look good. And it's about looking good throughout. Um, with the photos, I'll line them up now side by side. The front shot, you can obviously see that I've got a lot leaner across the whole area, um, but you can especially see it through my abs. My abs have also improved a lot this phase, just down to va doing vacuums a lot and learning about how to do that. They have This is the best my abs have looked. Um, also... My legs are relatively lean in off season, but you can see them, uh, the big change there. And what's amazing is I can see how much more tissue I've got than last year. Um, or last year, I think we would just pulled down a bit too much and my legs faded, but my legs still look pretty full and I'm real happy with that. Um, On to the back shot, which again, I'll throw up here, side by side. And you can see there's a fair change, especially around the lower waist. Um, my back doesn't, change as much when I diet, just because of the way my fat's distributed. So there is big changes on both of them. And this is where you have to ask yourself when you're dieting, if you're at a point where you're lining up photos and you're not seeing that change, it's not that you should give up, it's that you should keep going. And I spoke about that last week or the other week. Until I hit about 85, I wasn't noticing too much change in body comp. Now I'm nine kilos down, you can see the difference. So a pretty successful phase, so far. Now, from there, I will do a little interlude here. I'll chuck something up and then we'll go on to the next part of the video. Boy, uh, must have shot for a real one. I don't mean a gun finger, must a real one. Now you've seen that little interlude, whatever I threw up there could have been anything um, with a little bit of music. I'll go on to the next part of it. Um, if you do hear someone tooting like hell outside or beeping, it's the fish man. If you're from Dundee, you know who that is. This dude comes around in a wee van with loads of fish and just tits his horn. Um, so he is outside. The um, So obviously I went through the weight, body composition. What we're looking at now is where I started off calories and where I finished. Um, so my starting calories on average were 2,600, which was actually quite low for me. But again, as I said, it was down to the the equipment, what was going on, etc. But 2,600. My average last week was 1900 so that's qu quite a substantial drop i've actually been like obviously as we should always do prioritizing higher, higher calories on training days so non-training days have came right down um so 600 calories drop um 
over the whole phase. That's done slow and steady when needed and obviously worked out pretty well. The last week here has been a little bit different because I've pulled down, the, the calories have been the same, but I pushed uh, fat up, so dietary fat, and pulled carbs down, and that's actually shown a lot of benefit in my physique. Um, and then this week has been a little bit of playing around with just carb loads, etc. So that's the drop in calories. Again, it'll be on the screen. The output, cardio, everything, so I started off, I was doing a bit of cardio as well at the start, just because we had a spin bike. So at the start of the phase, I was on um, 11,500 11, steps a day. Um, that's just because with more time, me and Robin were out for a walk, etc. And 60 minutes cardio. That's all I needed at the start. I didn't change that till quite late into the phase, but I ended on 13,000 steps a day and 120 minutes cardio. So cardio doubled and steps went up, not that much, like 1,500 a day, which isn't loads. And that just goes to show you, you don't have to throw all your eggs in one basket. You don't have to, it doesn't always have to be all or nothing. You can do everything in slow stages. And that for me works quite well. I think last year when I was doing more cardio, my physique looked tired. It didn't look leaner, but I looked more tired. So that's all I've done there. With the cardio throughout the phase, as I said, went from 60 to 120 minutes, but only the last three weeks or so, I've pulled back on hit and it's been steady state just to aid recovery. The rest of the time, I was just smashing out a lot of hit and things like that. The intensity was a bit higher. So there's different ways you can play around uh, with that. And now I'll interlude in, in the next part. Them free butcher, we was raised on the real dumps. Not all these rocks, clock little sums. Nah, black suit like I'm dressed for a killing. Stepping out with auntie, something fresh she be whipping. All black range roll. And on to the last bit, which is I'll go through this one a bit faster just because most of you won't care. But drug protocol and training. So throughout the whole dieting phase, my testosterone has just stayed at uh, 400 milligrams per week. That's not changed. And as I, so a month ago, I had then uh, one tab of Clem, half tab of T3, half a T4, and that is it. So again, it's less is more. I've had my blood work done throughout that as well, and everything came back fine. So that's how we can uh, know whether to push or not. It's not about pushing loads of gear in there, because that is not going to get you anywhere. Unless you are a fucking going on the Olympia stage and you're, and you're a pro, which you are not if you're from Dundee. Um, so that is all that's been done there. Training. Now, throughout the whole phase, I did have equipment. Um, as you've probably seen me kicking about in the gazebo, I had a Smith machine, barbell, leg extension, ham curl, um, spider bars uh, and stuff like that. And a decent bit of load. I had also made homemade cables, which were okay, a bit annoying. Um, so I used them throughout the pretty much the whole process. Program stayed the same. Um, I was just auto-regulating deloads, recovery, things like that. With the deloads, if I did, I've not taken one, but when I do take them, I just go down to one set to failure. Um, and then the last three weeks, I've been training in a different place, which has more equipment. But guess what? Program stayed exactly the same. The only changes would be that I've went from using a homemade cable pulley system to an actual cable. So... That is the when training and when doing a prep, when doing a diet, don't start adding more shit in. Don't start throwing random stuff into the equation because it is not going to make you leaner. And I think people get this crazy idea that like starting doing giant sets and supersets and just random shit is going to be burning more calories. That's not the way to think of training. We are thinking of training as maintaining muscle mass. So I've actually maintained strength right the way up until about last week where certain movements, so pressing especially, just took a little bit of a hit. So maybe down five kilos and matching reps and things like that. But for the most part, even on lower body, movements have been good. Now that's down to the fact I was doing movements I hadn't done before, because obviously changing um, from being in the gym to training at home, I only had the barbell. So that'll be a little bit, but I think that shows in the physique as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This the real one, baby. You'll see the way I cut that in because I fuck up what I say. 
Um, but what I was saying was, if anyone has got any questions, um, please just drop me a DM on Instagram or you can head over to the website and my email address is there. You can drop me a message on that as well. Have a look at the uh, Physique Formula. It's a five part video series that's going to help you guys get in shape um, and be more set up for when the gym's open or if you're down south in Northern Ireland, in Ireland, in Wales, you've got the gyms. So this is the way to set yourself up. Um, with the diet and vlog, I've had a lot of questions throughout. The normal thing I say to everyone is just drop me a message. If you're interested in taking your physique to the next level and finding out what principles I use um, to get people in elite transformations and elite shape, just please drop me a message saying the words transform or elite. Um, and I'm always there to chat. Next week, I will be transitioning back into a gaining phase where I'll be having the week off training and I'll be just creeping back up to maintenance calories. But what I'll do on the vlog is I will speak about how I am setting up everything going forward and how you should be setting up going from a dieting phase into a maintenance or a gaining phase. But thanks very much for watching. 11 weeks of dieting and pretty happy with the outcome. Thanks guys and I will catch you later.